How's your jumper these days since basketball is all the rage? Say it again. How's your jump shot these days I don't since lose, basketball is all the rage? You can't lose that. No, I, we who I'm from, so I, I'm always having my jumper. How's the team look so far? How neat is it to be get, getting acclimated with everyone? Oh, it's, it's exciting, bro. There's, there's so many playmakers out there, and like, like, it's crazy to watch how many plays we make every day against the defense, even them making plays. But there's so there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of good players, and it's gonna be fun. Does it sense, seem like it's a new level, a level you've never really seen before? Or? I mean, I, I play with good people, but when you have more than we have, like a lot of playmakers, it's, it's different. What's been the process for you to kind of work your way into being one of those playmakers? Uh, learning how to be a pro, uh, taking care of my body. Uh, it's a new playbook, so learning how to stay out there, watch more film, watch extra film and do, do more. How different is it for you offensively in the playbook? Uh, it's not a different, we do a lot of similarities. So for me, I try to learn, I try to compare it to some of the stuff I did. Uh, it's a way for me to learn some stuff. Have you felt yourself kind of taking on like a leadership role in the running back room, especially with some of the younger guys? Yeah, I'm definitely trying to grow in that area. I'm one of the old heads now, and I have to realize it. And um, that's something I'm trying to get better at, trying to lead the guys, uh, showing them what to do, how to do it. And uh, that starts in practice, the way I practice. And which ones of your teammates in the backfield have impressed you from what you've seen out of spring practice? Well, all of them. The young ones, uh, those guys, they, they're eager to learn. They're all, some, some of them the field, they're asking me stuff. Uh, Hollywood, he's a playmaker. We got D. Mark and Jordan Poos, they're, they're some bruises, and they're not scared to hit people. And then you got Kendrick, who's a dog, too. With the spring game coming up, who's a player maybe that isn't getting the attention that fans can kind of look for on Saturday to kind of watch out for that maybe they haven't heard a lot about? I think I heard about him, but probably Caden for him. <laughs> a dog. <laughs> what do you look for in a spring game? Obviously, the number one goal is nobody get hurt. But yeah. from a player's standpoint, what are you trying to achieve on Saturday? For me, I'm trying to be clean. I'm trying to play fast, uh, play without the ball, and just take take advantage of every opportunity I get. I probably want, I don't know how many I get, but play every play like it's my last. How settled are you at NC State University and with the program? Is it still a new, or is this kind of your normal now? Oh, it's normal now. I'm good. I, I'm locked in. Uh, the guys took me under their wings, uh, showed me the way, and I'm good now. How surreal was that basketball game the other day, Duke and stuff? Oh, it, it was crazy. It was it was real good, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find yourself conflicted in that game, or? Nah, I do got it right here, but it'd be alright. So state, I'm a state fan now. <laughs> you excited to be in Carter Finley Stadium? Oh yeah, I can't wait for you. I can't wait. Make sure everybody come out to the game. We need about how many a whole? Fifty-seven. We need fifty-five thousand. <laughs>